What is going on, my YouTubers? Thanks for subscribing. First off, I just want to say thank you. I've recently moved to the Sacramento area, so I've been looking for some work, and uh, this project has kind of been on hold, so I just want to say thank you for commenting. They've really encouraged me of getting back into this, actually. Um, it's a long process. There's a lot of things that go into it, and I'm all the one here doing it. So I haven't lost interest in it. I wanted to say, please hang in there because it will come to fruition. Um, but everything down to the circuit boards, the CAD drawings, the uh, engineering of the whole code, everything is all me, <laughs> and there's no other team. So. I want to continue this and uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'll show you a little bit of what's going on right now currently. Um, I've been kind of out of work since the weather's been bad, so I'll bring you in. All right, so here's the, um, the LCD. Just kind of look from the side. Hopefully, you can see the quality of the print. Yeah. yeah, they do a good job. So that's that, and that's just your ordinary RJ45, although it will not work for anything besides this. It's proprietary, so don't try to hook it up to anything else. Um, this stuff's pretty costly. It, it comes out pretty nice, though, the quality of it. That's the pod, so uh, that's the OLED. Um, this will be a single color. Right, you get your menu, these would light up right there. It's, again, so they use the same system from the circuit board. So it would be, let's see if I'll show you this, either. It would plug into this unit or plug into this unit. And that's dictated by, it's already pre assigned from me whether or not it's. So, this, <laughs> so again, this is why it takes a while because you find out that you either did something wrong, you need to add something, or um, it wasn't efficient. Um, so, and these are just jumpers so that only this one would work right now uh, but in the future this will have uh, a jumper on it so that um, this would work it would be the same circuit board the difference would be these jumpers and the actual code that's in this Tensi um, before originally I was using the Arduino but I quickly ran out of space um, for what I was using this was just a better option Arduino is fantastic, it does the job just fine, but as far as memory and um, outputs and inputs, a lot more on this Tensi guy. Yeah, so I had also changed to these automo automotive style uh, relays. They were just your typical, I don't know if I have any in here. No. I got rid of those. They were just electronic relays, which were fine except for as far as the heat and vibration and stuff. I just wanted to go with an actual automotive. The same relays that uh, Dakota Digital uses on their, I don't know if you're familiar, their old um, auto air ride controller. So, yeah. That's pretty much that. Let me show you some of the CAD drawings. Okay, just got to find this here. Yeah. Switch box.
Alright, well this this color is not accurate. This is just for me. Um, hopefully you can kind of see that. It looks similar to the old one. Um, this mounting right here is a lot stronger. And this is the back. Let's see. Once the inside circuit board will be sandwiched in between there. And the name right height back there. Yep, so that's the new switch box. All right. So comment below, let me know what you think about uh, your estimate. I want to hear what your opinion is on how much this should cost without me telling you right now of production costs or anything like that. Um, I would like to put uh, some of the beta versions in the hands of those that have commented early on just so we can uh, test it out and continue on the process. Uh, like I said before, this, this process of the plastic molding. This is actually 3D printed. Um, it's, it's a different kind of 3D printed that you're used to. It's from Shapeways. You might be familiar with that. It's this online company that uh, prints in a bed of powder and there's a laser that goes over and it embeds it. So as far as the quality, it's, it's the closest you're going to get besides injection molding. Um, but that is one of my most expensive tasks and also the circuit board is not cheap so to make this a, a legit deal those things kind of need to be done and if I could continue on to actually make this, this um, product it would uh, require a big run of it to make it cost effective really for, for you guys um, but let me know what you think make some comments below tell me what you think the price you're kind of just estimating or guessing it would be um, for what you've seen that's out there already. Uh, this is also, like I showed you before, this is kind of on the back burner. This is the, the pod right here. Uh, I really like this a lot. Um, this is what I originally started with and um, I do like this however though for the for old school cars. Um, muscle cars, they will mount flush um, it'll look really clean switch box um, this one I first made was only had the corners which um, I should have spent more time and just put uh, front up front down uh, rear up rear down I didn't because I wanted to be compact and small but I realized that that's just not practical if you're holding it with one hand to get your front end up or your back end up or down so I have redrawn this and remade another circuit board and re-engineered the electronics for that to be. Um, I have kind of an issue of trying to get it done without continuing to add stuff. And so also let me know what you think um, as far as where it's at and if you guys are um, comfortable with the, uh, the process basically what it entitles as far as a switch box I do want to make it with a switch box so um, you don't have to buy your own it would come with this kit it would be a digital switch box which means it doesn't get directly hooked up to your valves um, it goes through the process of the circuit the, uh, the Tinsy here so yeah that wouldn't work for any other it would be just proprietary to this unit unfortunately um, that's so I can have a smaller gauge wire without having this big, thick, bulky thing. Um, also, I never really like the design of those because they use really small gauge wire, and to me, it, it's that's a point of failure. Um, I've had problems with switch boxes that there's not enough current flowing through the switch box, and sometimes, uh, depending on where your valves are located, if they're in the trunk and you use a small gauge wire, you get some voltage drops, and sometimes it might not work. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, that's just kind of what I've dealt with sometimes. So, um, again, thanks for subscribing. I will keep you posted. Hopefully, I'll make another video 
with my progress here. Uh, and thanks. <laughs>